I'm meteorologist Cecily Tynan with his AccuWeather alert. We do have a tornado warning in effect for the immediate Philadelphia until 745. So if you live in this area of red, I want you to seek shelter immediately. What you need to do is go into the lowest level of your home. If you have a basement, that's the best place. If you don't have a basement, an interior room away from windows. You want to put as many layers between you and the outdoors. This warning is actually a pretty large part of our viewing area. We've got parts of Delaware County, parts of Montgomery County, includes Philadelphia, also includes Camden, parts of Gloucester County, even parts of Burlington County. This is in effect until 745. We've been watching a cluster of some very intense winds working right into Philadelphia. It's moving southeast at 45 to 40 miles per hour, so it's moving very quickly. And we are noticing some of this r signature when you get a little bit of a kink right there. That's an indication that there could be some rotating winds. And what this shows you, this is what's called relative velocity. It shows the movement of the winds towards the radar site and where you have the red that's away from the radar site and you have the green that's called gate to gate shear. That's a good indication that there's rotation in the atmosphere and there could in fact be a tornado right now just west of Philadelphia. Paul, what we should probably do is zoom in and label some of the towns. Now this complex of storms has a lot of winds, straight line winds as well, a lot of lightning. So it's a dangerous storm, but right now it looks like the center of the possible rotation. This is radar indicated. It's not like anyone has seen a funnel cloud, but radar indicated shows the center of that rotation right near Woodland Avenue approaching I-76 of Schuylkill Expressway heading towards South Street. So it's moving again pretty quickly southeast at 40 miles per hour. And this is really the second cluster of storms that are moving through. We had the first one earlier today, a derecho, which was a very wide, complex area of wind damage. This is much more localized. So again, you can see right near Woodland Avenue where we're seeing some of that possible rotation areas farther to the south. We're getting the straight line winds. So even if you're not right with the rotation, we're looking at the straight line winds that could be up to about 70 miles per hour. So again, zooming in, we see Haverford Avenue, Woodland Avenue, the center of this rotation. Paul, what I think we should do, let's go out farther and let's do a track on the storm system. The storm's moving pretty quickly. It's moving at 40 miles per hour to the southeast. So these areas in the path of the possible tornado. We have Red Bank, we have Camden, Gloucester City, Brooklawn, Brooklawn Merchantville, Collingswood, uh, Gloucester City, Camden as well. So we'll continue to update this as it moves farther to the southeast. It looks like it's heading towards the Delaware River right now, moving pretty quickly. Lots of lightning strikes associated with this. We're in a pattern where we have the heat, we have the humidity, and we have clouds clusters of storms moving through pretty quickly. We'll probably have to do this all over again tomorrow evening. So again, we have a tornado warning. It's not just for Delaware County. It includes parts of Delaware County, Montgomery County, Philadelphia, also Camden, Gloucester and Burlington County, New Jersey in effect until 745 this evening and areas a little bit farther away in the severe thunderstorm warning until 8 o'clock. So Storm Tracker 6 live double scan showing again Gloucester City, Brooklawn, Merchantville, Collingswood, Belmar and Cherry Hill all in the path of the storm. So what you want to do if you live in the area with a tornado warning, you want to get into the lowest floor of your home, a bathroom, an interior hall. If you don't have a basement, you want to stay from any windows. We've been seeing a lot of tree damage earlier today from the derecho and when you have a possible tornado, it's the wind that causes the most damage. It's not the pressure. You don't have to open any windows. You want to put as many layers between you and the outdoors. You get a tree that falls down. It breaks through the window. It can cause a lot of damage. A wider view showing what we're looking at. This started as a cluster of about four cells at six o'clock tonight. It's congealed into a straight line of storms and we have been dealing with some straight line winds but a lot of times with a storm like this you do get a little bit of a notch and about 10 minutes ago my producer Paul and I were watching this and we did see that notch we did see a cylinder on our radar which shows a potential for rotation typically you get the rotation higher in the atmosphere and then if that funnel cloud can hit the ground, then it officially becomes a tornado. And we are actually seeing this right now on 3D. So what this means, there's enough 
movement in the atmosphere. There's enough rotation that there could be a quick spin up of a tornado. And actually, it just kind of jumped to the east right now, right over Philadelphia. So why don't we go ahead and Paul, I want to go back to this and track this. This possible tornado. This is what we're looking at as far as the potential for the center of the rotation. When you get a storm with straight line winds we had earlier today, we get the Boeing, but this is different. This is a hook and what this often shows is that the rain is trying to kind of wrap around the center of the rotation when you get the veering of the winds as it increases with height. So Gloucester City, Brooklawn, Birchenville, Collingswood, Belmar, Cherry Hill, all in the path of the storm. We can label some of these roads. Storm Tracker 6 street level. We can show you the center of this possible tornado. You can see near Catherine Street, uh, Annan Street, Naughton Street, and it continues to push to the southeast. Again, moving pretty quickly at 40 miles per hour. The derecho we had earlier today was moving even faster. That was moving at about 65 to 75 miles per hour. It's hitting right now the Delaware River. It will be crossing into New Jersey momentarily since it's moving so quickly. So again, you do want to seek shelter immediately if you are in the path of the storm. This is a tornado warning. It's in effect until 745. So for about the next 15 minutes, it includes parts of Montgomery County, parts of Delaware County, Philadelphia, also Camden, Gloucester County, and parts of Burlington County. So if you live in this area, you do want to seek shelter immediately. We're live on Sky 6 right now, taking a look at the scene. And the thing with the storms that we've been getting, not only earlier today, but this cluster of storms, the driving rain, the rainfall rates anywhere from about five to six inches per hour. So it's raining buckets. The best thing to do if you're driving in any kind of storm like this, you want to pull over immediately. You don't want to have to drive because you really can't see more than a couple feet ahead of you. In addition to the heavy rain, we have the lightning. We have the gusty winds earlier today with the derecho that moved through between 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock. We had wind gusts up to about 89 miles per hour. It got a little bit of a break and then the atmosphere has reloaded. We have high pressure to our south, so we're getting these storms kind of riding along that ring of fire and now live you can see the vivid lightning strikes associated with this. This is another reason why you want to get indoors. Lightning can strike about 10 miles ahead of any storm. So as soon as you see the clouds getting dark, you hear that rumble of thunder. You want to get indoors immediately. We are in severe storm season and this is really just the beginning of it, not just for this week, but as we head through the next few months. Storm Tracker 6 live double scan showing that the storm storm system is moving pretty quickly. The center of the storm right now is crossing into New Jersey. So a possible tornado radar indicated rotation, which means there could be a tornado in this particular thunderstorm cell. Philadelphia, you live there. You have the vivid lightning. You have the torrential rain. And often with this, the highest wind gusts are actually ahead of the heaviest rain. So that's moving into Camden right now. Even if this isn't a bona fide tornado, you're going to be dealing with a lot of wind. Camden, Gloucester City, Brooklawn, Merchantville, Collingswood, and Belmar all in the path of the storm system. That tornado warning continues until 745. Looks like the strongest winds right now are crossing into Camden County and will continue to move to the southeast. We'll have to see how this holds together, but it looks like it really hasn't been weakening. It's actually been expanding over the past 10 minutes. Paul, why don't we do the relative velocity? So that's um, this shows the winds. What we were showing you earlier, the reflectivity, that shows the radar, it shows the rain. This shows the winds, and when you have the red, that's the wind heading away from our radar site. The green is heading towards it. So when we have the red and we have the green right next to each other, that's called gate-to-gate -gate shear. And that's an indication that there's rotation in the atmosphere, that there could, in fact, be a tornado right now. And if that is a tornado, it's heading right towards Camden. If you live in Camden, you want want to seek shelter immediately. If you live in an apartment building, get down to the basement if you can. Get into the lowest level of your home. 
and get away from the windows. You really want to separate as many layers of yourself from inside to the outside. So get down low and get inside. So Camden right now, you can see crossing Front Street towards Haddon Avenue as this continues. 676 right now in the path of the center of this rotation with this particular storm system. So I can't stress enough that there is some pretty good signature that this could in fact be a tornado. You want to seek shelter immediately if you live in Camden. It's moving very quickly. You get the wind, you get the rain, and you get the lightning. Sky 6 right now behind me showing uh, what is the Ben Franklin Bridge yeah. right now, which you can barely see at all. And uh, we've got the heavy rain. Uh, Paul, you know what we could do? Can we show rainfall rates with this? We may not be able to, but I want to show you if we can, because we have dew points in the 60s today. A noticeable increase from the dew points from several days ago when we had dew points in the 30s and 40s. And when you have that much water content, any downpour can bring a tremendous amount of rain in a very short period of time. So we can go ahead and query this and show you the rainfall rates that we're talking about. And we're looking at about three inches per hour. So that's heavy enough that it's blinding, that it's really hard to drive in. In addition, with this particular cell, when it was moving through Lancaster County and Berks County, we also had the hail. We had straight line wind gusts at 70 to 80 miles per hour. And now it looks like there's a a little bit of that rotation in the atmosphere that has in fact spawned that tornado warning that is in effect until 745. So if you're just joining us, a tornado warning has been posted, includes parts of Montgomery County, Delaware County, Philadelphia County. The strongest part of that storm has now left southeastern Pennsylvania. It's moving into South Jersey. So Camden County, Gloucester County, parts of Burlington County under that tornado warning. It is in effect until 745. That particular cell, we've seen some radar indicated signatures that show that there could be some rotation in the atmosphere and that could in fact spawn a tornado and you can actually see how it's been moving. So Merchantville, Collingswood, Cherry Hill, Haddonfield, Summerdale and Springdale. If you live in any of these communities, you definitely do want to seek shelter immediately. If you live in any of the areas that were in that red polygon, you want to get into a basement if you can, the lowest level of your home. You want to get away from windows. Strongest part of the storm right now is heading towards Cherry Hill and Haddon field. You're in the path of that storm, Summerdale, Springdale, and Eavesboro as well. Where you see this little bit of a hook, that's the potential rotation. I want to stress that's the strongest wind part of that storm, but when that blows through, then you get all the lightning, you get the torrential rain. So even after the strongest part of that storm has moved through, you are going to be dealing with some wind, lightning, heavy rain, and also some straight line winds in effect from this. So this shows you right now that right to the west of Haddonfield is where we're looking at some pretty intense wind gusts. Looks like these are straight line winds. But I want to stress, like we've seen today, straight line winds can cause as much damage as a tornado. Paul, can we show you the uh, show our viewers actually the wind speed. Now this is radar estimated and this shows, this doesn't show that that bad. This shows about 40 miles per hour, but uh, this particular cell does have a history of producing wind gusts 70 to 80 miles per hour and the derecho we had earlier today did produce wind gusts close to 90 miles per hour. So that's why we had all that tree damage, all the power lines down from earlier today and now this is the second band that has actually congealed into a pretty solid line. So this is where we're looking at the potential for the center of rotation. Moving into Haddonfield right now, if you live there, again, please seek shelter. Let's take this seriously. Get into a basement, get into an interior room, something away from windows, get away from the windows. Don't try to take any pictures of this. That can be very dangerous. That part of the storm system moving into Haddonfield and just to the west of the center of rotation is where we have the heaviest rain. We have the most lightning strikes, dozens of lightning strikes, and the rain is uh, pretty much blinding right now, so very hard to drive. Lightning, I've shown you the past 10 minutes, this view alone, we've had 160 lightning strikes. So there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere with the high dew points, that high humidity, it is unleashing a lot of heavy rain. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have some areas of localized flooding from this particular cell. Heading towards Haddonfield right now, Brooklawn, it's just to the south of Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill, you're getting 
getting a lot of thunder and lightning. You're getting a lot of heavy downpours, but the strongest winds right now do appear to be heading into Haddonfield. This storm system is moving to the southeast at about 40 miles per hour, so it's moving pretty quickly, and you can see a little bit of that hook echo near Haddonfield right now, just to the south of Haddon Avenue, where we're seeing the strongest winds in Brooklawn, very heavy rain. I wonder if we're seeing any hail, if we can do some hail tracks with this. We've had some indication from the cell earlier tonight at about 6 o'clock when it was moving through Berks County and Lancaster County that there was some large hail. And you can see, yeah, this is showing now that there was a pretty good swath of hail moving basically right through the Delaware River just to the west of Camden. So that's an indication that these storms have a lot of lift. There's enough energy in the atmosphere that the storms can get to a very high height. It can tap into the colder air in the atmosphere and form the hail, those ice crystals. Here is the center of the storm right now, just to the west of Haddonfield, a hundred and what is that? 188 lightning strikes in the past 10 minutes. So this storm is actually strengthening as it continues to move to the southeast. It's not weakening. We saw it as a series of about four cells at six o'clock. It congealed into a line and typically with a line of thunderstorms, you get the straight line winds. But every now and then in the apex of the line, you can see a little bit of that hook causing that potential radar indicated tornado. So we do have that tornado warning in effect until 745, about the next three minutes. We'll have to see if the National Weather Service extends this or expires it. Uh, I, I think the tornado danger is over for southeastern Pennsylvania. Now now it's really confined to Camden and Gloucester County and parts of Burlington County. And then a wider view showing that we do have that severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 8 o'clock. That storm has rocked Delaware, Chester County, Philadelphia. It's moving into South Jersey right now. We are looking at the potential for some rotation to the north of the cell and then south of it looks like we have a little bit of a Boeing and that's an indication that you get the rushing winds behind that system. We have wind gusts with this particular particular cell earlier, 70 to 80 miles per hour. Even if it's weakened, this does have the potential for some wind damage. The so the warning has expired now. Okay, this, um, let me go back to the, if, uh, that hasn't been updated yet, but we've just been told, Paul, my producer said the tornado warning has expired. We still have the severe thunderstorm warning until yeah, eight. We still, we still have that severe thunderstorm warning until 8 o'clock, but that tornado warning has now expired. It's been a very active night. I will have a full report on Action News tonight at 11. We now return to your regularly scheduled programming.